Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine, and today I'm out in a 635 Pro from Formosa in the center cab setup. Now, when I first heard about Formosa many, many years ago, I had developed a bit of a stereotype that Formosa was known for its center cabs. They built these incredible center cabs, and uh, that sort of stuck with me. So I've been really looking forward to getting out and doing a test on one of these to showcase what they can do. And what they can do is a heck of a lot. These things are built to a high standard when it comes to fishability and fishing features. They are absolutely awesome in the way they're laid out. They're full of features. They're also structurally incredibly strong. They're a very, very tough boat. You'd almost call them a full-blown battle wagon. Now, you aren't going to buy one of these boats to use them as a speed boat and go hooning around at flats, flat knacker everywhere, because they're not really designed for that. They're designed to take you where you need to get to safely, comfortably let you do everything you need to do fishing give you zero excuses to land those fish and then get you home again safely so let's dive into the formosa 635 pro and see what it has to offer i guess the big thing to talk about is the elephant in the room and that is using crazy cages at the back now some people have said to me oh, i don't want them they look ugly but at the end of the day this boat's not built as some european elegant boat just putting through the water this is a hardcore battle wagon fishing boat and why wouldn't you add all that extra length to the back of the boat you're basically buying yourself an extra two foot to, to three foot of extra space and you're not storing any extra space because it's not going past the engine and from a fishing point of view it's absolutely insane and you've got this great ladder system that comes out and running in on both sides just makes sense and it looks balanced as well. They're not expensive, but you're basically for very little money extending the function and use of your boat and your fishability of the boat. And I can tell you, we wouldn't own one of these center cabs without having the casting cages put on the back of the transom. Let's talk about engines. Max horsepower on this boat's a 225. We've got the 200 V8 fitted to this particular boat. Um, it's ample power, especially with the Mercury V8s. They've just got huge amounts of torque and you would never be disappointed with that sort of setup. You can definitely run with a, a V6 in the Mercury as well, like a 200 V6 will be fine. Even a 150 would probably just push this boat along, but realistically, you really wanna be around that 200 horsepower 225 to get the most out of this boat. When it comes to Formosa, their bait boards are a class act, as always, with everything they do. This thing's perfectly set up as a fishing station. So you've got a nice open area here, it's 70 centimeters plus a little bit long. You've got your rod holders here. You've got a really deep tray across the back, which is great to be able to drop knives and just stuff you just don't need, but you want to grab in a hurry at some point. Opening it up, you've got access to your live well in under here, and you've got two more storage trays. So very, very well thought through and well engineered bait board station. Now coming to the back of the boat, this one's particular is opened, optioned up with its back seat. Now that's definitely not a standard feature. We don't do a lot of back seats in the center cabs, but it's definitely available. Now if you had the, the transom, this was closed off and you've only got the single transom access, that back seat would come all the way along as well. So you get a three person set up across the back. A very popular and almost essential option to put in the Formosas is your deck wash system and then the hand wash station as well, which just squeezes a little bit of water out the side here just to make it nice and easy to clean your hands. That's on a timer, so we'll let that finish off what it's doing. But conveniently here as well, this is another thing I reckon should be standard on every Formosa and that's your fuel spill setup. Now, it's not unusual to be filling up and then all of a sudden the fuel comes out faster than you expect. This is going to catch it and stop it from running all the way down your deck. So another good feature you get in the Formosa. So this is a 635 Pro. Now what the Pro does is give you the fully welded in floor. And it's a really nice way to finish your boat. It's quite an expensive option, so you've got to be sure you really want it. Um, but if you've got the money to spend, it's going to just put that final finishing touch on your boat. Plus it gives you the advantage of having a self-draining deck. So there's a scupper system on the transom. You literally just undo the rope here and the scuppers are loose and any water that comes on board is just going to drain straight out the, the tubes back out into the ocean. Um, the kill tank is fully plumbed in and it's hard plumbed out to the transom as well. So you, um, effectively you can treat it like a floodable kill tank. And that's a great feature because it's nice and big and very easy to clean out. Let's just walk forward onto the, onto the, uh, the front of the casting deck up here. Now I'm going to say it's a front casting deck, but it's actually not a front casting deck because it's a walk around. But this little step area here, which is available in the boat, effectively you can use this as a casting deck if you want to. So in days, probably not, not, not like today, um, it'd be very easy to be able to stand up here and flick some lures. Uh, we've also set these up here where guys are standing on the fore deck up here as well, standing on the anchor well lid and, uh, and casting off there as well. 
in anything from a 595 or bigger, the anchor winch is really a no-brainer. You don't really want to be up here having to pull in a big heavy anchor all the time. Even though you do have really good access, it's certainly money well spent putting the electric anchor in. On the other side, we've got the bow mount plate. Now, the bow mount plate means we can run the electric motor. Um, in this size, there's no problems at all. Whether you run, I'd really be wanting to run 105 pound, which is a 36 volt system for the windage that this boat's gonna have. And you're gonna run a 72 inch shaft to make sure that prop and power head get into the water nice and deeply. Now, I don't know very many boats in the market that go to the effort of putting a headlight like this on a boat, but they work amazingly well if you're doing a lot of night fishing. But how tough do they look as well? They're a really unique look and they give that real aggressive look to the over, overall presentation of the boat. So if we summarise the 635 in the Formosa and really for all the centre cabs that Formosa build, they are just a massive workhorse. You could have a centre console and get that extra cast index base up there, but if you're going to be taking going boating in days like today where it's howling 20, 25 knots, having that extra protection of the cabin makes a lot of sense. So let's dive into the cabin and have a look at the helm and the cabin, the way that's all set up. The cabin's a really good spot to be able to put your gear. Um, it's going to keep it nice and dry. Now, kids are going to fit in there comfortably. And if you pull that footwell out, you're definitely going to be able to fit an adult or two in there. But the idea that you're going to sleep in there is probably not going to happen. Um, even if you're a tiny person, you're not going to fit in there for a sleep. Um, but definitely, kids, not a problem. Now, look at this helm. We've got a nice area here. Now, this is twin nines. We've got an Evo, th an Evo 3S 9-inch here, and then the Simrad Go 9 here. Now, we've set this up so we've got a 1 kilowatt transducer feeding everything back through the Evo, and then the Go 9 set up for your engine data and GPS. So you can run twin screens, sit, fits in there nice and comfortably, and, uh, and works well. Now, if you wanted to fit a 12-inch, a 12 will fit. Um, and you could probably get a 12 and a 9 in there as well. We haven't done that before, but for us, the twin 9s look smart and, uh, and works well. VHF, cluster for all the electronics on the boat, anchor winch switch, everything fits nice and easy and, uh, and a nice high driving um, steering wheel position too. So a lot of boats you'll get into them and the steering wheels are down low. I've never understood why they've done it that way. When you drive a boat with a steering wheel up high, it's very comfortable, especially if you're in rough water, you feel like you've got a lot more control and it's a lot more comfortable just to be able to stand and drive. Having a look at this seating setup, uh, we've got the twin eskies here with the extra seats in the back and uh, it's a really good use of space. You're not wasting anything with that. And if you add the kill tank in there as well, you're really well set up to be able to put ice, food, store fish, whatever you want on the boat. These hard tops on the center cabs work well. They actually do fold. You've got a hinging system here, so it's just a matter of releasing the two bolts on either side, and then the hard top rotates back. Now, if you want extra sun protection in the main cockpit area, we can actually do a, a bimini extension, which comes out, a little beak that protrudes back out off the back of the hard top. Um, but they're a cool setup in this particular one. We've added some spotlights in here as well for the extra extra lighting at night time. And you've got the rod racks and everything on there as well. So um, it's a really cool setup from Formosa and it's foldable if you need to get in under a tighter uh, storage area. Now they actually standard run the sail track in here, which is really convenient to be able to put the clears. The clears literally just slide in and then zip up and lock in. So to give you that extra protection in the cabin, if you're doing a lot of cold water work or you're getting a lot of rough water work, um, these areas, these built-in things into the hardtop make putting clears on the boat really straightforward. The Formosa Centre Cab is probably one of the most mimic boats in Australia. There's a few brands out there doing everything they can to make their boats look as much like a Formosa in every way, copying a lot of the features. At the end of the day, you'll never get the same. The Formosa has a hull design, which is unique. It's got a structure system, which is a, a league of its own. And when it comes to the finish and the quality you get in a Formosa, it's very hard to compete and, uh, and compare that to anything else in the market. When you're looking for a fishing battle wagon, something that's gonna be, make fishing super easy, gives you huge amounts of room, um, the Formosa Centre Cab's got to be one of the ones to consider. It really is a classic hull to, to look at. Uh, they start at a 5.65 and go right through a 7.5 metre, so there's plenty of size options available. Come down to us at Good Times Marine, we'll love to walk you through the range and we'll price up a boat package that's going to suit you down to the ground.